Track 33. Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. Hmm. Yes, that makes sense. Um, did you look into any other festivals? Yes, we did. What we're planning to do is more research into water festivals. We found that in Asian countries, where there aren't any carnival celebrations, there are still festivals that involve people splashing each other with water. Actually, we found references to them in Burma, Thailand, Vietnam, China, and Japan. But we also found a reference to a water festival in Mexico. So we thought we'd look into that a bit more and see if we can find any similarities between these countries. Ah,、uh, I mean, we realise that water is more than just a way of cooling people down in hot weather. It also has a lot of different religious meanings and purposes. For instance, we found that in some societies, water can mean life or wealth or just luck. Yes, and another thing we found out is that these water festivals often celebrate the beginning of the new year, just like the original celebrations hundreds of years ago before the carnival. So,、um, up to now, we found that the carnival and the seasons are linked by ancient traditions, and that water plays an important part in the celebrations. That is the end of section three. In the exam, you will have half a minute to check your answers.